It has been a few days, probably about a week since my last upload, and I'm going to explain a lot of that in today's video. I'm out here at the ponds though, ready to get backtrack on YouTube. I know it's been a little break for my videos, but I have just been very busy because I've been, as some of you know, moved out now closer to college, and I've been dealing with all that probably for the last week, week and a half. So I still have been trying to fish. I've been trying to find new ponds and new waters to fish down where I live now. But right now I'm at some old stomping grounds just to come out here and know that I can catch some fish today. I got one rod out here at the ponds today and we're just gonna go have some fun. First thing I'm gonna do is look at the water conditions. We're gonna hook up the deeper, toss it out there, see what the water temp is, cause I haven't fished these ponds and see what area and what depth we're marking fish. Also, if you like the shirt that I'm wearing today, this is the new MTB shirt, go ahead and click on the link in the description below and I will have a discount for these shirts. They're pretty pretty nice to wear out here. They're breathable and it's really sunny and hot right now. So it's definitely a cool shirt to come out here and rip some lists with. And let everybody know that you fish. So with that said guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the GoPro, get to fishing and hopefully we can catch some fish. Let's get it. Okay guys, so my rig for today is going to be a Shimano Sitica. This is on a seven foot medium heavy action rod. And the one thing I like about a jig like this is the style of the head. This allows me to use it as a swim jig or I can work it on the bottom. All right, so right now we're gonna walk a little bit up to the main part of the pond, probably where it's gonna be the deepest, or like the main areas, because honestly, back in this end, we just scanned probably two or three casts and covered the whole cove of that pond and did not mark anything. So we're not even gonna fish that. If you don't mark any fish, you might as well not fish it. Save time, and then it'll get you to where the fish are even faster. Let her rip. All right, now. 5.7 you can see that green right on there on the bottom that means there's a little bit of grass and there are there I can visually see moss right by the bank so you can also see there might be some bait fish right there up in the top of the water column and the water is very warm at 86 degrees so summer is definitely here and the water has definitely been heating up Dan's going ahead and reeling that deeper in as I, as you can see as he reels in you get a little bit more grass and you're also getting shallower so definitely a lot more grass. So we're gonna have to use baits that are weedless that'll come through the grass well. And uh, that water temp is warm. I think the fish may be active since this is a pond. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and cast a little bit close to the bank next cast and see if we can mark some fish close to the bank because they weren't out in the middle. We got a fish sitting on the bottom about 5.8 feet, a little bit off the bottom, but he's in that grass. So like I said, I think we're gonna put on some baits. I think Dan said he wanted to fish a frog. I think I'm gonna fish a swim jig and uh, try to weed that swim jig and snap it through the grass and create our action strike. So with that said, let's go ahead and get rigged up and get to fish. All right, back at the ponds. Middle of the summer, haven't fished this pond since spring. There was a ton of active fish in this pond. Last time I fished it, there's one right there, right by the bank, came up and got it. First cast, all right. So that's not a big fish, about 12, 13 inch bass. Oh, there he goes. But uh, first cast, actually. Swimming that jig back in, hit it. Just came up and like, watched him eat it like a little pet bass or something right on the bank. There he is. Got him. Came up again right by the bank. So these fish are definitely by the bank. And that explains why we didn't really mark that many fish out in the middle. And as soon as we came in, we started marking fish a little shallower. And that'll, uh, you know, just definitely tell you that you want to start fishing closer to the bank because, like, a lot of times the fish can either be out in the middle of the pond, they can be, like, a little bit off the bank or right on the bank. So when the fish are coming up on the bank and biting it, typically what you want to do is start paralleling these banks. And uh, there you go. And that way you can keep your bait in the strike zone a lot longer basically the entire cast. This looks like a little bit better bass. Oh, he just spit the hook. Spit the hook. It's all right. Dan just sniped one on a frog. He's throwing a, the top water. It's definitely rough conditions for top water, but he is throwing a frog, so. There he is right off that tree.
Got him. Man, this is fun. I haven't been fishing as much lately, at least for the past week or so. I've just been, I fished a few tournaments, but as far as pond fishing, I really haven't fished that much because I've been dealing with a lot of moving out and stuff. So it's definitely so nice to come down here and just have some fun and rip these, these pond bass because they're honestly, you know, they're, they're a challenge to catch, but you know, you can just come out to the ponds a lot of times and just have fun. That's what it's all about. And uh, there's another one, back to back, right off the end of this tree. And I am swimming the jig too, for sure, because there's a lot of moss in this pond. That's a little bit better one. There's a lot of moss in this pond, and I'm keeping that jig above that moss and swimming it. I tried dragging on the bottom, and I was just getting tons of weeds and debris on my jig, so I am swimming it now. It's probably the biggest one yet, about a pound and a half. Let's go ahead and let this little dude go. See you, bud. All right, we went two for two off the end of this tree. Let's go ahead and see if there's a third one there. Here we go. Well, that was a bad cast. Let's see if we can still get one on it. Tons of giant grass carp in here. Golly, that was a big grass carp. There's a bunch of them up here in this corner too. If you guys want me to make a grass carp video, I haven't done that in forever. I'm sure there's, oh, let me catch this fish real quick. Well, this could be a good one. Oh, it's a good fish. This is a good fish for this pond. This one's kind of good. What I was gonna say, if you guys want to see me do a grass carp video again, just go ahead and let me know. I'll go get a loaf of bread and bring it out to these ponds and catch some of those big old grass carp. I feel like I used to do that a lot when I was younger. I used to make videos like that and a lot of you guys liked them. So return of the big grass carp master number one might have to happen. But for right now, we're having fun ripping these bass and uh, gonna keep on going. Oh geez. Oh, that's a dinker dinker. Oh, no, he's not that small. He's really dark. Man, that'll full little chunk. I mean, this pond is relatively new, but these fish are growing pretty fast because you can tell that fish is kind of stocky for only being about a pound and a half. You know, he's only about 14 inches, so let's let him go. How is it going, everyone? I hope you guys enjoyed the video that you just watched. This was a video that I wanted to upload, and what I'm talking to you guys right now about at the end of this video is what has been going on with my life lately and why I have been a little bit absent off YouTube for about the past two weeks. And the main reason for that is because I am now moved out of my parents' house. I now live down closer to where I go to school and where I also fish for college, which is Northern Kentucky University. And I've just been kind of moving in and getting settled in, fishing new waters around here and trying to find areas where I can film at. So that's kind of why the delay of videos have been happening. Now it's been about two weeks since I've moved in. I've kind of settled in a little bit and I'm knowing the area better. So I am going to start getting back on track with YouTube. I have a lot of excited things planned for the rest of the year. I'm going to still continue filming like local tournaments. I'm gonna to film pond fishing around here, but I am still gonna travel as well. I have a few trips planned in the near future that'll be really fun. So exciting things are happening. I'm really pumped for next year filming and fishing on the Collegiate Trail. That seems pretty far off, but it's gonna be here before you know it. So, so keep an eye out for those Collegiate videos starting next spring. And as always, if you wanna see a certain type of video, a how-to video, a challenge video, or anything like that, go ahead and comment below and tell me. I'm always here to fulfill whatever your guys' requests are. So again, thank you again for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. I will see you next time on the next episode.